the kind of attacks or the kind of situations that witness in insane insane crimes. And so ours should not be different. We should step up our game. And then I know that um, uh, the Council of uh, the uh, Council for the Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria has a lot to do in this investigation. They should come in and see what exactly happened. Uh, uh, Nigerian Society of Engineers should also wake up. And then other agencies that are actually affiliated to all of these professional organizations should also wake up and show that they continue to train their professionals. If engineers are well trained, uh, they, they are certified, and then of course you go after them when they are even constructed, not after they have constructed. And people that are supposed to do certain things actually stand up and then they do them properly. Not that you want to take bribe and then you, you forget what you're supposed to do. I, I think that is actually the situation in many times that we, you know, that, that, that has happened in this country. And so we really need to stop all of this attitude and then we reorientate our people we do our jobs very well and Nigeria will be the uh, do you really the, think the, we're going to learn way. from this though because it looks like we hear we hear all of these things sometimes when it happens everybody cries out you know we call oh do your job do your job do your job literally less than two three months later you also hear about another building collapse or something similar happening again what is it going to take for us to really learn yes i mean a lot of us have been in church buildings let's be very honest that have been built or uncompleted it's almost a thing in nigeria where oh, we're building our worshiping at the same time until it's completed while we're raising funds and doing harvest and bazaar let's still be worshiping in this structure that shouldn't be habited it's a thing here how do we now stop this what will it take for it to stop Thank you very much. I think we need to be very honest with ourselves in this country, and then I think I would, I, I, I would actually kickstart this story on, on, on this very particular one. You see, one thing is that we only launch investigations and people are actually not punished for the outcome of whatever investigations that we have carried out. And I think that is one essential thing that needs to start now. Um, the last investigation that was launched into whatever situation, nothing came out of it. And then we just sweep all of these investigations, I mean the reports, under the carpet and nobody is punished, nobody is actually mentioned, we don't even get hear by anything. And so I think this very one, and many others that have actually, uh, you know, started a long time ago, I mean investigations that have started a long time ago, should actually come to, uh, you know, uh, this, this clear view of Nigerians. We should know what exactly happened in those circumstances. And then people who are actually are wrong or who have committed one wrong or the other should be brought to book. And I think the moment we start that, we go after those engineers who have, failed to do what they are supposed to do, I mean, Nigeria will be the best for it. And that's the, the, the honest truth. I don't want to just believe that it's a matter of, yes, something has happened, we launch investigations, nothing comes out of that investigation, and then we want to launch another one. I mean, we, we are not after investigations after all. We are after the safety precautionary measures that are actually put in place to forestall you know, situations like this. And that's exactly what I think our government should do at this point. I, I think, for one, i like to thank Lagos State Government because their own law is to the extent that the moment a building collapses, Lagos State Government takes over that property, and that is it. And so because you know you don't want Lagos State Government to take over your property, you want to jack up you know, the standard of, of uh, uh, building, the quality of materials and what have you, and then you use quality people and all that. So I think other states should also look into their laws and then um, uh, make out deterrence, you know, accordingly to, to, to on, on those people who are actually found guilty. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's move on now to elections. I mean, not Ghana. I mean, we don't know that Ghana had, had their presidential elections and uh, the, another incumbent has fallen, and incumbent has fallen uh, of the continent. Um, but looking at River State now, which is back here in Nigeria, probably the most contentious of all states whenever it comes to elections. I don't know that we've ever had an election in River State without an incident, whether it's a local government or councillorship or governorship. And we had a couple of reruns held in River State, and we've heard about killings, the DSP was killed, we've heard about beheadings. Even before we've heard about how the election went, it's all of these shootings and shootings and killings. What is, what is the issue with River State? It, it looks like you, when people hear about River State elections, they're like, oh, now Rivers. Have we resigned to that? Should we just accept that it would always be that way? But why have we resigned to that? I think it is quite unfortunate that um, some of our brothers and sisters have actually not come to the realization of the fact that politicians would always be politicians. And then we do not have to lose our own lives because of people who have their own children abroad, people who have their friends. own relatives abroad, and people who are even in power and they are just earning money. And that's the truth. And then we continue to be sacrificial lambs on the altar of these big politicians who have turned themselves into power centers. And you see, I don't know why it has to be like that. And for once, I think the federal government, led by 
this able president, um, we expect so much of Mr. President at this point in time, he should hold people culpable. And I think that is just the honest truth. If the president is able to talk to some of these power centers, everybody, I think we all know them, if he's able to talk to them that, come on, it doesn't have to get to this. I mean, people being killed and, I mean, murdered in cold blood because of an ordinary election. I mean, I, I think it is quite unfortunate and we cannot continue like this. And then even the politicians themselves in, past, uh, in River State should know that, I mean, winning an election is not actually worth killing people. You, you should not just kill people. I mean, look at all the youth core members, you look at police officers, look at the... I mean, it's quite unfortunate. We should not resort to this at all. It should never be. And I think it's actually uh, giving River State as a whole a particular name which I don't want to mention at this point in time. But I expect the stakeholders in River State to actually rise to the occasion at this point in time, especially flowing from the urgency of now, to resensitize and reorientate their people and to let the youth especially know that, you know, laying your life on the altar of a political office is actually not worth it. And I think we equally need to assist our brothers and sisters and we should let them know this message. Very important. I mean, it's uh, I, whatever I hear that is going to be an election in River State, I always get very worried because it's almost guaranteed that incidents around it will overshadow whatever the result is, yes. and it looks like it's happening again. Well, I know this is not even INX forty now. This is more security now. Not at all. Yes. Yeah. Well, th thank you very much for being here today. We're going to take a break now. Thank you very much for, so much. for having this discussion. Before we go on a break, remember, um, the Future Awards Africa will be holding on Sunday, the 18th of December, which is a week from today at the Federal Palace Hotel here in Lagos. So for those of you who have been nominated, congratulations. I'll be looking forward to seeing you there. We'll be back in a moment. Say, let's dance now.